are the youiest you that there ever will be. You're the only you in all the world, in all of eternity. You were you yesterday, you're you today, you'll be you tomorrow. You could be like in the story of Cinderella with your mean, toxic relationships, your evil stepsisters forcing you to scrub the floors for a living, earning barely enough to get by, looked down upon, thrown shade by your evil stepsisters. You could be in a lower class or caste. You could be positioned due to circumstances like your profession. To feel as though you are less than. To identify yourself as what you do what boxes you fit into at any given moment in time. Externally, your circumstances. The people that surround you. Your behavior is negative and positive. Your looks. Your superficial exterior body versus your health and fortitude. your position in your finances, your position in society, um, your job title, your income, blah, 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 blah. You are Cinderella. Now you take Cinderella and you pick her up and you plop her later in the story into a tall, beautiful castle with your choice prince or princess, whatever is your preference, full of wealth and abundance, power and prestige, looked up at, looked upon, admired by those that surrounded her, even with some jealousy like from the toxic previous people that you used to hang around with that threw shade behind your back. The evil stepsisters now are jealous of what she's become. But Cinderella was always Cinderella. Fortunately, she didn't allow the power <laughs> and influence of influence and power and prestige to corrupt her and become something cynical and selfish and self-righteous and indignant. Her character remained consistent and good throughout the story. Whether she was a pauper or a prince or princess, she was always Cinderella. Whatever it is you are doing, whatever your station, your place, your position, your religion, your ethnicity, your race, your belief systems, whatever work you do or do not have to do, externally, whatever work you will or will not do externally, wherever you are, wherever you've been, wherever you wind up, you are, you are, you are, you. And you're valuable because you are you. Cinderella was just a Cinderella down here as she was up here in the high tower. She was just a, as good a person down here scrubbing floors as she was up there. It's not the shoe that made the difference. <laughs> it's because of her character 
in the fairy tale at least that it all works out in real life um, you can have a good character and it still doesn't always work out because life can be not fair. But one of our works in life, there's a video I made about this in the quote section that I will link to, is continually reminding ourselves of our own self-worth. Just as so many things else, uh, stability, peace, contentment, emotional uh, joy and uh, control and all the rest of that is the knobs are in here. It is the internal work that produces that. So little in life is found externally in any kind of way that is substantial and lasting. Who you are, how you are, your uniqueness, your character, your inherent value and self-worth is not determined by any external circumstances, not what you own, not what you look like, not what boxes, positions, places, and stations you have been put into by others, not what people say about you, positive or negative, not what profession you have, prestigious or not prestigious, not what you have accomplished, not how many books are penned in your name, how many uh, degrees you have hanging on your wall. External circumstances, none of it. You are the same you. Here, there, anywhere. In a box with a fox. You are the same there. You are the same you. Your worth is inherent. Your worth is in your character. Your worth is in the kind of person that you are. And growing to be a more kind, caring, contributory, good, giving, worthwhile, valuable, well-rounded, balanced person, growing in your character, just amplifies the worth you already had inherently. But it doesn't matter what's going on outside of you. That doesn't define you. No matter how many people try to define you by it, continually remind yourself, you are not your job. You are not what other people say. You are not your clothing, you are not your house, you are not your car, you are not what you own, you are, you are not anything external. You are the same you here as you are over here. The growth that counts is the growth that's internal and your worth is inherent because you are. You are the youiest you there ever is, there ever will be, the only you in all of eternity. So often we can let our circumstances dictate what our value is. And I have to remember that my value is the same whether I am dirt or I am picked up and dusted off. And like Cinderella placed into a castle. Or if you are kicked out of that castle and dropped back in the dirt, your value didn't change from here to there or there to here because your value is in here, regardless where you put and plant your flower in your yard or in your house, it's still a flower. Here or there, it's still as beautiful, as lovely, as unique as it ever was, wherever you plant it. And hopefully, wherever you plant it, it continues to grow. Been a very kind of Dr. Seussy quote. I'm a little scattered, not feeling so hot this morning. Doing the best I can to keep up with this the best I can. Um, your worth 
is inherent. It is a given, it is a guarantee. And if you want to up your value, up your character. Your value is a given. Your worth is a given. And it can grow and blossom and become more if you internally become more. But whatever circumstances you find yourself in, in the gutter or in the castle, you're still Cinderella. Good morning, goodbye, have a good day. So often we can let our circumstances dictate what our value is. And I have to remember that my value is the same, whether I am dirt or I am picked up and dusted off. Good morning, goodbye. You can dust it off and start again. Pick yourself up and start again. You can dust it off and start again. I'm gonna smudge up my glasses. Good morning, goodbye. Love you guys.